See, first of all, for firework, you have to have something that burns. And you can get a number of those, but most things that do burn, burn not with a white light, like sparklers, but with a yellow light. Although they burn pretty well, the yellow light is not necessarily the most interesting colour to look at in fireworks. You get a bit sick of just yellow sky rockets, for example. So you have to add something to that yellow burning substance that gives it a colour. And those things are chemicals, and in fact they're chemicals made out of metals. They're metallic salts. And the particular metal you use is what gives the particular colour. In fact, they're so well known that chemists taking compounds will put a little bit in a flame to see what colour the flame turns. And on the basis of the colour, they know what the metal is in the chemical compound they've got. To give you an example, let me take a probe here. It's a little wire loop. And a chemical, and I'll make the probe wet so it clings onto some chemical. We just need a little bit, and I'll shove it into the flame of my burner. And you can see the colours that we get from different chemicals. This is potassium, and it gives a beautiful lilac flame. Lithium gives us orangey red. From barium we get pale apple green. Strontium makes a very rich crimson. Copper gives peacock colours of a greeny blue. And metallic magnesium gives a white light so bright that you can't look at it. We have to shield it from the cameras in case it damages the lenses. So, there you are. We can't really make fireworks. It's too dangerous. Either they could blow up in your hands, or the metallic salts are so poisonous that they could do you some harm. Still, next time you see them going off in the sky, at least you know how the colours get there.